thank you for joining us this evening. Um, my name is Liz Menz, and I am the Manager of Adult Programming here at the Dallas Museum of Art. And I'm pleased to welcome you to this, the final installment in our third season of State of the Arts, a program exploring the creative process and connections between the visual and performing arts with key artistic leaders from the Metroplex as well as special guests. I would like to thank KERA, our program partner for the State of the Arts series, with particular gratitude to Anne Bothwell and her colleagues from Art and Seek. My thanks also to Energy Future Holdings for its generous financial support of this series. I am very pleased to introduce Jeff Whittington. Jeff is host and senior producer for KERA and KXT Radio. He has been a wonderful partner as moderator of State of the Arts, and my colleagues and I are very grateful for the huge amount of time and thoughtfulness he has given to this program. In his work for KERA, Jeff produces the award-winning Think radio show and serves as host for the Anything You Ever Wanted to Know radio show, airing Fridays at noon on 90.1. Jeff also created and launched the live session series for KXT 91.7, the non-commercial sister station of KERA featuring acoustic, alt country, indie rock, alternative, and world music. Since KXT's debut in late 2009, over 60 local, national, and internationally acclaimed musicians have appeared live in the station's studio thanks to Jeff's efforts. Jeff's work for KERA has been honored and recognized numerous times, including several Best of Dallas awards from the Dallas Observer. He is a native of Dallas and is a graduate of the University of North Texas, where he holds degrees in music and English, and he is also a songwriter and musician himself. Please join me in welcoming Jeff Whittington, who will introduce our special guests tonight, Beowulf Fort and Nick Nicosia. Thank you. Thanks very much, Liz. Uh, good evening to all of you. It's a great pleasure to be here for our fifth and final State of the Arts conversation of the season. KERA and Art and Seek are committed to continuing coverage of the dynamic visual and performing arts scenes both here in North Texas and beyond. And the kinds of conversations we've been able to have with State of the Arts simply wouldn't be possible without our partner and host, the Dallas Museum of Art. Thanks to the museum and all of you here in the audience this evening, we have a place to discuss the important creative and social issues of our time. Thank you very much for being here and for participating in the dialogue this evening. Beowulf Boritz's interest in set design began early when he joined his mother backstage at the Memphis Opera. She was singing in the chorus of Verdi's Macbeth and seeing the production from behind the scenes may have had an early influence on the future designer. He went on to receive a bachelor's degree from Vassar College, followed by an MFA at New York University, where he began designing and making connections well before graduation. Borat first began designing for a small theater in the South Bronx, the Belmont Italian American Playhouse. And after several years there, he was launched to Off-Broadway, where he has now designed over 50 productions, including Jason Robert Brown's The Last Five Years for director Daisy Prince, Joe P. DiPietro and David Bryan's The Toxic Adventure for director John Rando, and Strindberg's Miss Julie for director Scott Schwartz. His work on Broadway includes the recent run of Candor and Ebb's The Scottsboro Boys for director choreographer Susan Stroman, Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine's Sondheim on Sondheim, directed by Mr. Lapine. He also designed the set for Lapine's the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Kurt Weil and Alfred Urey's Love Music for Harold Prince, and the current hit Rock of Ages for Kristen Hange on Broadway and in London, Toronto, and Australia. He's designed for the Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis, the Goodspeed Opera House in Connecticut, the Huntington Theater Company, and the Commonwealth Shakespeare Company in Boston, the Alley Theater in Houston, the Dallas Theater Center, the Delaware Theater Company, and many others. Board has also twice designed the scenery for the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Currently, his designs can be seen on Broadway, on the national tour, and in London in Rock of Ages, off-Broadway at Keene Company's Painting Churches, and at the Philadelphia Theater Company in the Scottsboro Boys. Board has been honored with an Adelco Award, a Barrymore Award, three Drama Desk nominations, two Lucille Lortel nominations, and four Henry Hughes nominations for his designs. In 2007, he was honored with an Obie Award 
for sustained excellence in set design, the equivalent of basically a lifetime achievement award. Just last year, Borat was nominated for a Tony for best set design of a musical for the Scottsboro Boys, and he's in town this week for the opening of Peter Maxwell Davies' chamber opera, The Lighthouse. It's a collaboration between the Dallas Opera and the Dallas Theater Center, directed by the Theater Center's artistic director, Kevin Moriarty, and it opens tomorrow evening at the D. and Charles Wiley Theater. Nick Nicosia is a conceptual artist currently living and working in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Born and raised in Dallas, he studied radio, television, and film at the University of North Texas with a concentration in motion pictures. Nicosia occupies a unique place in the art world as an artist who uses photography as an important element in his work, but doesn't necessarily consider himself a photographer. His intricately planned and staged photographic artworks reflect the level of detail typically found in filmmaking, and he's recognized as a pioneer of the staged photographic movement that came into prominence in the early 1980s. Nikosha's first solo exhibition was at Artist Space in 1982. Launching his career from there, Nikosha was included in the 1983 Whitney Biennial and the 1983 Exxon National Exhibition at the Guggenheim. His work's been shown regularly in solo and important group exhibitions throughout the US, Canada, and Europe. In 1992, he was included in Documenta 9, a key international exhibition of contemporary art in Kassel, Germany. And in 2000, was again included in the Whitney Biennial. In 1999, the Contemporary Arts Museum in Houston launched a 20-year retrospective of Nikosha's work titled Nick Nikosha, Real Pictures, 1979 to 1999. Four years later, in 2003, a second major survey of his work was exhibited at Casa in Salamanca, Spain. Nikosha has received numerous grants and awards, including a Louis Comfort Tiffany Foundation grant in 1984, awards in the visual arts, AVA 11 in 1991, and the Tasuki Foundation Artist Fellowship grant in 1998. In 2010, he received a Guggenheim Fellowship for photography. His work's been collected by numerous museums, including the Guggenheim, the Museum of Modern Art, the Whitney Museum, the Los Angeles County Museum, the Dallas Museum of Art, the Museum of Contemporary Art Chicago, and the Houston Museum of Fine Arts, just to name a few. Next fall, the University of Texas Press will be releasing the book, Nick Nicosia, a retrospective visual account of his photographic work from 1980 to 2011. Won't you please help me welcome Beowulf Borat and Nick Nicosia to State of the Arts. Thank you. <laughs>